What's up guys, Dickerfin in here, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to get to the third islands within the first mission of Grand Theft Auto 3. So your first mission, it'll go from the bridge to the hideout to you picking up Misty. Now, to do this glitch, you will need to pick up Misty or someone. You need to have someone in your car with you to do this glitch. So depending on where you are in the story, might be best to start a new game. But you know, if you want to use this for your save file, well, you're gonna need someone in your car, so maybe get a prostitute or something, but I decided to get a better car. Now the idea here is you want to go to the crusher and you want to park beside it so you get out on the passenger side. And so once that happens, you want to try to get back in the car, so keep spamming the triangle to get back in. And even if you're knocked over, just keep spamming it and you'll get back in. And right here, when you glitch up, that's when you know you did the glitch correctly. I actually did it first try. It's really not that hard. And this will make you be able to go through anything. But keep in mind, if you cut through something while you're kind of on the ground, you might glitch to the ground. It's very easy to glitch through the ground. So with this, you have a lot of options. But there's another part of this glitch that makes it really, really kind of strange. If you swerve, left and right over and over your car will literally get bigger and bigger now it'll kind of mess up the wheels and the more you do it well let me just show you because it's kind of hard to tell at first but when you actually do it for a while and then compare it side by side it literally stretches out the entire car I mean look at it isn't that crazy wow yeah, so there's a huge difference. So if you keep on swerving left and right, it'll make your car bigger and bigger. And this is not even how to get to the third city. This is just part of the glitch that makes it really weird that if you see here, if you do it for too long, your wheels get messed up and you can barely drive anymore and you eventually, it's not gonna let you get any bigger. You're eventually gonna just fall off the map and you can't get any bigger, which is sad. I think it'd be funny if you could keep doing it to the point where you'd be as big as the city. But this is honestly ridiculous. <laughs> But here's how you get to the third city. Well, basically, you're transparent now. So you can take the subway down to the city. But keep in mind, it's kind of hard to get down here. It took me maybe six or seven minutes because if you accidentally touch the wall or if you accidentally touch any of the, um, the rails to the stairs, it will glitch you through the floor and you'll fall out. It's so like when you're coming on this part right here, you gotta come like to the bathroom, then turn around and make sure you come down here perfectly. Because if you touch these sides, you're gonna fall through the floor and you're not gonna be able to get down here. So you kinda gotta do it quick. And we're down here. Even when we're down here, try not to like hit the red pillars because they'll glitch you out. So if you follow this path, eventually it literally leads you to the third city. You're in the third city, you bypass the, the second one altogether, and you're in the third city. And from here, just safely, slowly make your way back up here. I'm not sure if you felt the map, if it would put you in the third city or not, but I made my way up. And since you're transparent, you don't have to go to the gate. You just simply go through the wall. Now, obviously, I guess the only reason to do this is because you want to get to the dodo. I forgot how to fly the dodo. I know you have to like hold the nose down and let it go up. But I know I made a video on how to fly a dodo, and I'm sure I'll make another one at some point. But yeah, that's how you get to the third city on the first mission within probably the first 10 minutes of you playing Grand Theft Auto 3. If this video helped, please like the video and please sub to my channel. We've been kind of having a terrible drought for the last few years, and I'm hoping some of these videos get us back up. So like and subscribe if you can, and I don't think I'll be flying in the rain, but thank you guys for watching. Dust can fly. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you guys on the flip side. Peace.